Hi guys, today we're working on a micro SD card that died in the camera. This card arrived almost four years ago and the customer asked to hold on to the card and if there's anything that would be available in the future to get this done to let them know. During those years a lot had changed in data recovery world. Also uh, my <laughs> soldering skills had improved quite a bit. Uh, so I feel very confident that today we'll be able to get this done and recover this data finally. Uh, reached out to client, client is good to go, so let's get into the work and see what this card needs. As you can see, this case is a little bit dated. <laughs> I start off with uh, checking for VCC and VSS short to ground. Let's take this under the scope. One probe goes here, another probe goes there. Look at the reading, there is no short, that's excellent. For the cards that are um, degrading, but not totally dead yet, uh, in other words, they accumulate a lot of bad sectors, uh, there is an option to work in technological mode without uh, having to work with NAND protocol uh, with the help of this adapter. This adapter works slightly different when it's connected to the box. Here we have a selection of three options uh, for source device. Uh, PC3000 flash would be the box and then protocol uh, operations. Uh, external file if we wanted to work with an image file and SD card adapter. Uh, this unit, uh, when it's plugged into the PC3000 flash complex, it actually uh, creates this option here as a separate disk. So we're going to select SD card adapter make that a copy is what we want to do and we're going to just save it into uh, a file image. Here we can just select 16 gigs for capacity. So what this will do is that it will bring us to uh, the screen where we can actually power on the device and try to initialize it. After attempting to initialize it, we can get the card ready. Okay, there is no ready state. So for uh, easy options, in this case specifically, we're all out because it doesn't want to get detected. Card can be taken out and this adapter can be disconnected now. The card has problems that are still resolvable, just not going to be as easy as uh, we always hope. Uh, so what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to work with it through NAND protocol. To work with it through NAND protocol, I have this adapter right here. I'm going to apply double-sided tape to the adapter. That's what's going to hold our card in place. And the card goes on top. I'm going to keep the uh, amount of flux down to the bare minimum. The schematic, I've had it for many, many years. The beauty about this is that it's got um, these uh, via holes on both sides so we can either link a signal to this side or that side and it's still going to be the same thing um, that's going to help us with the routing of some of this wire that will kind of be a little bit hard to mount because uh, those traces are really really close to each other turn the fume extraction on
power and ground, um, I prefer to use a thick wire. Um, I have a 30 gauge here. So that's what it looks like when it's done. The one last step for the manual process is to make sure that we have no short on um, VCC and VSS. Perfect, 0 0.4. That's what we need to see there. This gets connected first to first, like this. That's attached. Now we get our reader. I'm gonna use this. Just basic description of what we know about this card. And uh, we're off. Read ID. Mm, no ID. So now we're on to the hunt. So after staring into a microscope for about 10 minutes, I was finally able to see what the issue was. Uh, if I look at the uh, schematic, our signal for 06 is the fourth one on the right side. Then we have two empty slots and then we have read enable. Read enable, if we look here, is connected here. And it goes, we count, one, two, three. So we have one skipped that is extra. All right, there we go. So I'm gonna bet that now it will fire because I really, literally checked everything. Let's go. Yes, now we're getting the ID. Excellent. Had me worried there for a second. Let's see what the chip looks like. In direct mode, selected. And we're gonna go into um, page designer. And so let's clear this. Let's delete reading results and let's read it into a file. So read chip. I'm gonna go and read both of them. Read chip. I'm gonna detect optimal. See if we can maybe find what the um, error correction is. It found error correction. Great. So this is actually may may work better than I thought. Uh, custom max speed 21. Oh, that would be amazing. We got seven megabytes per second speed, 21 minutes to read each part. And we have two of them, so eight gigs each. All right, at this point, it's getting pretty late and uh, all memory chips have been read. So let's go ahead and add it to the transformation graph. Those are uh, chips. You can see the uh, green plus means it's finished reading it. ECC correction, we need to really wait this through. Uh, I was hoping it would not yeah, there we go. Found it quick. Uh, let's get this fixed. It's getting dark. I'm going to call it a day for now. But second part of this video, we'll do a uh, readout if it's something special, if it requires multiple reads, temperature adjustment or voltage ad adjustments. And uh, we will assemble this thing uh, in the following episode. I will link the second episode to the description of this video. But for now, I think we wrap it up because this video is going to be way too long. And as always, guys, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. If you have a micro SD card that doesn't work, check the description box. Link to contact us is there. Thanks for watching. See you soon.